Those of you who subscribe to me on Twitter at, at HITC7 may recall that back in February, I shared a photo of a concept design for Hull City 3rd kit with HITC7s as the sponsor. That was sent to me by aspiring shirt designer Alfie Powell, who creates lots of different shirt designs on his website alfiepowelldesign.com. Now, Alfie has very kindly created 20 exclusive designs for the purposes of today's video, with one shirt for each of the 20 Premier League clubs. So you are in for a rare treat today, as there'll be less waffle from me, and for the most part, I'm just going to tell you what Alfie has told me with regards to his thoughts and ideas on each design. Also, just to avoid any confusion, the shirt sponsors are the current real life sponsors, with the exception of clubs sponsored by betting companies, in which case the sponsor has been replaced by a local charity. If there's one takeaway from this video, it may be just how many football clubs are sponsored by bookies. If you enjoy this type of video, Alfie and I may collaborate again in the future, maybe doing away kits, designs for championship clubs, La Liga teams, or even some international designs. It all depends what the response is like to this video, so let us know if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future down in the comments. Without further ado though, here is a stunning concept design for every Premier League team ahead of next season. Arsenal. Getting us started, since we will be going in alphabetical order as usual, is a retro look shirt for Arsenal. Alfie took his inspiration largely from Arsenal's 1992-93 kit, as you can probably see from this photo of that shirt, worn during a season in which Arsenal won a cup double, but only finished 10th in the league during the inaugural Premier League season. The central badge is something I've always liked, and Alfie does too, and the Gunners haven't had a shirt with that design since the 2005-06 campaign, which was the club's last season at Highbury. You may also notice that the Emirates logo is slightly different to the current one, switching from Fly Emirates to Emirates Fly Better, which appears to be a general rebrand by the airline and could be one reflected in Arsenal's upcoming kits. Aston Villa Aston Villa have had some fantastic kits over the years, making their shirt this season look a little bit ordinary. Alfie openly admits that his design for the villains may be better suited for the 2021-22 season, rather than next season, since that will be the 40 year anniversary of Villa's famous European Cup win against Bayern Munich in Rotterdam. Alfie's Villa design honours that extraordinary success, with Roman numerals translating to 1982 running through the middle of the shirt, meanwhile the paisley pattern on the sleeves is simply to add some flair and style to the top. Bournemouth Alfie isn't an enormous fan of the current Bournemouth kit, which he thinks looks a little bit shiny and cheap. In response, he's come up with a really classic design for the cherries. Black, or jet I suppose, becomes the dominant colour rather than red, along with a throwback to Bournemouth's old crest that would have been on their shirts during Dickie Dowsett's time at the club. Renowned for his tremendous heading ability, Bournemouth's current badge pays homage to Dowsett, and in many respects, this special edition would too. Alfie has also added the subtle touch of a cherry blossom outline on the red section of the shirt, a delicate nod to the club's famous nickname. Brighton and Hove Albion Staying on the south coast, Alfie has continued with a bit of a colour reversal. Just as the dominant colour of Bournemouth's shirt was switched from red to black, Brighton's has gone from blue to white. Alfie points out that before Brighton started calling themselves the Seagulls in order to mock Crystal Palace and their association with Eagles, the animal most associated with Brighton was the dolphin. The Brighton coat of arms, seen here, has long had two dolphins on it, although the design for the dolphins has evolved over the years. Alfie sought to unite old and new by making a design featuring both Brighton's old favourite being, the dolphin, with their new one, the seagull, and if you look closely, the blue bars are made up of dolphins and the white ones of seagulls. Clearly a lot of effort has gone into the shirt, and I like it, although I think an argument could be made for it looking a little bit more like an away kit than a home shirt. Burnley Alfie's design for Burnley may have the look of some kind of Native American pattern at first glance, but don't be fooled. All the shapes used to make this quirky claret shirt are actually already present in the club's current logo, just incorporated onto the rest of the shirt. Chelsea for those of you who don't know, Chelsea announced in January 2020 that their five-year partnership with Yokohama will come to an end this season, with the club's new sponsors being telecommunications and internet service providers 3. Alfie said the 3 logo wasn't the most aesthetically pleasing for creating his design, but it's on the shirt in the interest of accuracy. To quote Alfie directly on this one with regards to the rest of the shirt, he writes, As you can see, I've gone down the Chelsea line route but rather than paste them all over the place, like the kit they had a few seasons back, I've made them out of equal size lines, using the opposing shades of blue. There's also a hem label on the sleeve, with the rose and ball that can be seen on the crest. Crystal Palace 
Not every one of Alfie's designs necessarily has to have a historical nod or a clever quirk, and this one for Crystal Palace was purely born out of aesthetics. And since there's not much for me to say about it, I'll just leave it on the screen for you to look at for a few seconds without the monotony of my voice. Everton. There's a bit of speculation involved in this one since it's not yet confirmed who Everton's kit supplier will be next season. The club were reported to have penned a multi-year deal with Umbra in 2019, but subsequent reports have suggested a parting of the two, with Everton linking up with Hummel instead. Alfie has gone with a Hummel kit as a result, with a smart design featuring pinstripes made up of the club's Latin motto, along with white and grey chevrons on the sleeves. Leicester City Lots of these shirts have nods to the club's crest, and Leicester City's is another that falls into that category. One panel of the shirt features Leicester's nickname and mascot, the fox, whilst the other is decorated with sink foils, which is the flower, that the fox's head rests upon on the Leicester badge. The two patterns are broken up by a single gold stripe down the middle of the shirt, meanwhile the sleeves are a solid blue, with the exception of the cuffs, where the pattern continues. Liverpool Alfie's original design for Liverpool was a classic red shirt, just with white and teal detailing to the collar and cuffs, until he came across the supposed leak of Liverpool's kit for next season, which was exactly that, and decided he'd best put his thinking cap back on. In the end, he came up with this, going for a two-tone design with the red and continuing the white and teal theme in the form of vertical pinstripes across the shirt. The old school logo and border are taken from Liverpool's kit from 1996 to 1998. Manchester City. I think this one looks great, and those are my words, not Alfie's, in case any of you thought he was just very arrogant about his own work. The retro designs are often my favourites, and this one fits the bill. Heavily influenced by Manchester City's 1996 kit, as you can tell, Man City are a club often accused of having a lack of history or tradition, but this shirt revels in the club's occasionally less illustrious past, celebrating a shirt from a season in which the Citizens finished 14th in the second division. The subtle ship in a lighter shade of blue also pays homage to Manchester's shipping canal and historical ties to the shipping industry. Manchester United Alfie is quick to point out that he's not a big fan of Manchester United, but he very kindly didn't decide to jeopardise this whole video by deliberately designing an awful kit for the Red Devils. I'm grateful to him for that fact, since this is another one that I really like. It has been a long time since Manchester United, or any club for that matter, has had a string pull neck shirt, and my first thought, as Alfie himself points out, is that such a design feature may no longer even be allowed in the modern game. Nevertheless, it's an interesting design and could look good even with the 90s style United collar. Newcastle United Alfie is a big fan of Newcastle United's current kit with its centred logo manufacturer, which is almost entirely ruined by the size and style of their god-awful sponsor. Alfie has kept things simple with the Magpies then, sticking with a similar design, although it is a little more reminiscent of their kits of old given the white sleeves. Gone is the nasty looking sponsorship, replaced by the Sir Bobby Robson Foundation, a sizeable improvement, I think we can all agree. Norwich City Alfie is a big fan of a zip neck, and since he finds Norwich to be a likeable club and yellow is one of his favourite colours to work with, he chose to bestow them with one of his favourite designs. Whilst you get plenty of zip neck training tops, I'm not sure I've ever seen a zip neck official shirt, and one suspects the authorities might have one or two complaints about that as well. Sheffield United Alfie said he felt guilty about messing around with Sheffield United's classic red and white stripes as a footballing purist, but I must admit, I think this one looks great. Alfie has gone for slightly thicker stripes than the current Sheffield United shirt, adding a thin black line, and if you look closer you'll see light blades decorating the white bars and roses in the red bars. Southampton It has been a little while since we have had a throwback kit, but back down on the south coast, we have one again. This shirt honours arguably Southampton's greatest ever player, Matthew Letizia, who played his best football in this shirt from 1993 to 1995. During those two seasons, Latis bagged 55 goals in 89 games from attacking midfield, enshrining himself in Saints folklore. There are lots of similarities between that kit and this one designed by Alfie, who points out that Southampton aren't switching to Adidas, he just refuses to make Under Armour kits. Tottenham Hotspur There are no thrills or spills with Alfie's Tottenham design, which is simple but elegant and undoubtedly an improvement on their current kit in my humble opinion at least. Neither I, nor Alfie, have a great deal more to say about this one, so I'll just leave you for a few moments to enjoy it. 
Watford. I think what happened here is that Alfie had lots of ideas for shirts that he hadn't run with for the other clubs, and as he approached the end of the alphabet, he decided to throw them all together for Watford. In his own words, Alfie comments, I went all out for this one. Allegedly, the animal on the crest is a heart, but we all know it's a moose. That's why this one has mooses all over it, as well as panels of hornets, the other club has founded, and other patterns. My idea for this one was that whilst it looks like a joke now, everyone would want to buy it in 30 years. I watched an interview with Ian Wright the other day, and he was speaking about how everyone was embarrassed to wear the bruised banana shirt when it was made, but now everyone loves it. That was my aim. West Ham You're not going to be ignored in this West Ham kit, which is certainly vibrant. The design, as you can see when you look closely, is made up of numerous claret stripes over a blue background. The stripes distance themselves, moving out from the centre, making the shirt mostly claret in the middle, but revealing more of the blue as you head towards the sleeves. I, and I mean me now, not Alfie, I think this one looks a bit like a training top, but my girlfriend is a West Ham fan, sort of, and she likes it. So that's one happy customer at least. Wolves. We end with Wolves, which is the only shirt Alfie doesn't really have any comments about. The current Wolves kit, which I'd never really taken a proper look at before now, has different shades to it, and so too does Alfie's design. The Wolves kit is supposed to be old gold, although most people think it's orange, and whilst there might not be too much to say about this one, I think it looks great. So that is it for all 20 Premier League teams kit concepts for next season, all drawn up by Alfie Powell. Please give a big thank you to Alfie, whether you love your club's designs or not, and let me know down below if you'd like to see similar videos for any other teams or leagues in the future. Thank you all for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and as always, make sure that you are subscribed to HITC7s.